Chapter 1. You are listening at FameTV.com. Bang. Bang. Sound of guns tattered the silent night in Milan, Italy. Four of them were fleeing from the chaos. The man was carrying his wife. The girl behind him was carrying his child. The child was wailing, giving the chasers their locations. The girl covered the child's mouth. The child was heavy for her. It was hard for her to carry it and run as well. She was almost out of breath. They came in front of the river dock. Five boats were there to welcome them. The man put his wife on a chair of one of the boats and then took his child from the girl behind him who was breathing heavily. Without taking a single glance at her, he started checking the technology of the boat. The girl felt nervous thinking about what happened few minutes ago. She shivered a little. Her mind was fuzzy. She took deep breath to calm her heart. When her heartbeats calmed down, she looked around the boat. Her mouth was dry. She was feeling thirsty. But where can she get water in the middle of nowhere? After thinking about something, she sneered at herself. Here she was standing on a boat and there was a river in front of her, still she couldn't drink an ounce of water. Did fate really want her life that badly? It was middle of January and of course it was cold. The sky was covered with dark cloud. At any moment, the rain would start. That girl shivered in cold and wanted to divert her attention. So she thought for a while and looked around. Then she took off from the boat, took her army knife which was hidden under her dress attached with her leg. She started the engines of other four boats and then cut the ropes fast which were tied with the railing of the dock. The boats went disorderly however they wished in the night river the Pa. Now those gangsters couldn't follow them in the water. The child had started to cry again. Its sound was echoed one side to another side. The girl felt miserable. The night was extremely quiet and nobody was around the dock. In this silent night the child's cry was very loud and clear. Why the kid had to betray them like that? Even at a time like this, she could still joke around. But it was a problem. The chasers would find out their position. Even in this cold, she was sweating and as the time was passing she was getting weaker. She touched her middle back where she was bleeding. Yes, to cover the man in front of her she took the bullet, ten minutes ago. Footsteps were coming closer she hurriedly went to a board on the boat. Bang. Before she could get oh the boat she was hit on her right shoulder. Underscore 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 hello dear readers I'm flow 07 this is the fifth time I'm writing a story but first time publishing one of my writings so I'm a bit nervous I may make mistakes because I am a human. However, feel free to point out my mistakes and if you have other thoughts based on the novel please share it. Also, you can ask questions about me and the novel. I'll try to answer. But not the questions regarding the future plot. Wish me luck. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.